The vision of Transformation Church is very simple. Representing God to the lost and found for transformation in Christ. That's why we exist. You made it. You made it through another year and God has been faithful. And the truth is, we just need to thank God that we're here. And the question is, what are you doing to prepare in this year? You know, it's easy to go through life just drifting from one thing to the next, but God desires to give you vision and focus. And I really believe that that is the idea of God this year for your life. So you can set a course and move forward, move forward in your family and in your business and in your life with purpose and with power. Every year, my wife and I ask God, for his vision, for our lives and our family and our children and our business. And he wants you to do the same thing because when you get a vision from God and you anchor yourself to God's vision, it changes everything. I'm Pastor Michael Todd. And today I wanna show you some life-changing truths about vision and let you know that God still speaks. Somebody say, my life is his. Now, for some of you, you just lied because your life is committed to your preference and not his purpose. But I heard God say, if you're going to commit to my purpose this year, then you're going to have to become, everybody shout at me, anchored. anchored. Shout it like you mean it. Anchored. Say it with your chest. Anchored. This year we will be anchored and I do believe that the prophetic word that God gives us every year in a vision type of way is something that marks our lives and is able to refine us. So today I thought what I would do as I come into week two of this series about being anchored and y'all I'm so excited to preach this message right now. I thought I would walk us through how I got here. Okay, so, so we are officially starting. Get your notepads ready, get your smartphones and your dumb phones. Get everything that you got ready because we are in week two of a series we're calling Help Me Anchor. All right. Now, this is going to be a series that shapes your whole year. So I want you to plan right now on coming back to this series every month. How many notebooks do you have filled the notes and how many things do you have on your phone and emails that you have of notes that you never use? God's saying, if you're going to be anchored, you got to remember my words. Mark my words. That's what we talked about last week. He's saying, remember them so that in a season that you didn't know you needed it, I already gave you the answer. I dare say to some people right now, the very answer you're looking for, God already gave you just forgot. This is one of the things that God is challenging us to do is not just be consumers, be studiers of his word. And in this series, I think it is my position to not just come as the man of God and, 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 and God gave me this word. You know how people do and they act like they the only one here from God and they, they don't sleep on an actual bed and don't use an actual toilet. Somehow it just comes out of them and they're purified. And like it's just all of these things. And that's the furthest thing from the truth. I want you to know I am a human, human that is submitted to God. And anything that happens in my life can happen in your life if you make the same type of, type of sacrifices and dedications and devote yourself. Take your vote away. God, I don't want to do that, but I'm devoted. I don't have a vote no more. I, I, I don't want to do prayer and fasting, but I'm devoted. I'm going to take my vote away. And you can see these outcomes in your life. And so today I wanted to start, it, start this whole thing by telling you how I got to the word anchored. I don't like the word anchored. Let's start there. Let's start that when God gives you a word, he does not consult your feelings. When God speaks prophetically, he doesn't look at what you want. He looks at what you need. And God somehow stepped outside of eternity and saw Transformation Church in this year and said the word they need to center around, gather their faith around, give around is the word anchor. And so let me start off by saying this is not my favorite word. I would have preferred Tons of other words, explosion, the blow up, the next level, any of those could have worked God. And I pray about it 
Because when God starts to show me something or hear something, and the reason I'm walking us through this, because I saw a couple comments and I got a few emails that raised my pastor up this, this week that said, God, don't be speaking to people like that. Whoa. You see, he's just over here talking about how God talks to him. There's nowhere in the Bible that it talks about God speaking to people. Really? So I thought today that I'm not just going to give you fish. I'm going to teach you how to fish and let you know that God is still speaking and he wants to do something so special in your life. So every summer, if you've been around Transformation Church, there's about a, a, a month and a half that me and Pastor Natalie disappear from the scene. And I go on sabbatical from the very first year of me being in ministry. We, we take this time. And on that sabbatical, I intentionally, lay, m- intentionally make a space for God to speak to me. So I literally go to a random hotel where only my security and my wife know where I'm at. And I sit there and I just pray and ask God what I'm supposed to do and pace around the room and admit I don't know nothing. And I ask God, like, why did you choose me? There's a whole nother year that people are going to come every Sunday. And you know the funny thing about Sundays? They come every Sunday. And I don't know what to do. And I just lay before God. And I ask him for vision and direction. Every year when I make this space, God meets me in these times. And what ends up happening is out of that time, I bring the word to the year to our staff first. And I usually share it with them in September or October at staff advance because it's hard to lead somebody a place you've never gone before. And so this team, we pray and we fast and we talk about the word of the year. So this staff and this team, the reason why Anchored is coming off so smooth to us because we've been walking this thing out for about four or five months. And then at the beginning of the year, I share it with our church because it's not just for this house the organization it's for somebody say my house God does not speak anything in this house that he does not want duplicated in your house he doesn't want this church blessed and your marriage not blessed he doesn't want this church to be influential and you not be influential God uses this church as an example of what he wants to do everybody say through me And so when I went on sabbatical the main thing that I write down in my journal is God I want to hear you I want to hear you, and God, I will listen. And when I said that um, um, to somebody this week, talking to them through like God still speaks, God told me, he said, Michael, people are deceived. Hearing me, hearing God's voice is normal for the believer. He said, if you don't hear me, who are you hearing? If you're not hearing me, Somebody speaking to you. Can I prove it to you? Because in John 10, 4 and 5, he said that my sheep follow me. They know my voice and a stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him for they know not the voice of a stranger who's ever talking to you. If it ain't God, who is it? And I really begin to think about that because God said I'm still speaking, but culture speaking too. finances are speaking too. Your favorite motivational speaker is speaking too, and you've confused their good idea with my voice. And the problem that's happening right now is because it takes a sacrifice to get into the presence of God, a sacrifice to live a life that's holy enough, a sacrifice. So many of y'all would rather take a cheap counterfeit than actually have the authentic voice of God speaking in your life. I'm already doing too much right now, Michael Wu saw, but 2021 will not be the year that you will be able to blame God for not speaking to you. 2021 will not be the year that you talk about he's just so far away from me no 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 your ears are closed and you're walking around like la 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 and God says I'm speaking but you can't hear me because you're listening to the stranger's voice we talk about stranger things let me tell you about stranger things stranger things is hearing from people who do not have the heaven's mind for your life stranger things is listening to a friend group that feels like they're more successful than you so maybe I should listen to them they don't know the purpose of God for your life they don't know the plan that God has for your marriage they do not know what God has already ordained for you you better stop listening to the stranger's voice I have small children right now that love answering the door 
They love bing bong. They ah! knock, knock, knock. They love answering the door. But the one thing that I've had to teach my daughters and my son is when somebody's at the door, the first thing they ask is what? Who is it? And the problem is so much stuff has been showing up at the door of your life and you've stopped asking, who is it? You're just opening the door. Some of y'all took the door off the hinge and they can come in and go as they please. But today it's time. Oh, I feel this thing. It's time to put a barrier back up. And when you hear something, you need to ask, who is it? And the only way I know who it is, is if they speak. Their voice authenticates who it is. And very, very easily now my daughter says, who is it? And I say, it's your daddy. She said, daddy, her reaction. Who is it? It's Charles. Oh, Uncle Charles, who is it? It's Auntie Bree. She knows how to give access to people she's familiar with their voice. But when she says, who is it? And it's a stranger's voice. She doesn't respond audibly. She. <laughs> Daddy. Somebody's at the door and I'm unfamiliar with their voice. Daddy, are you expecting somebody? Are you expecting this relationship? Are you expecting this business deal? See, daddy should be talked to either way. It's either him at the door or I'm running to him because the stranger. I didn't, this ain't even my message. But all I'm saying to you today is that God is speaking. And many of us are missing him because we've been <laughs> We've been conned by the stranger. Does life feel like a storm? Problems and situations surrounding you on every side? You don't have to be tossed around in the storm. You can stay anchored. In Pastor Mike Todd's new teaching series, Anchored, Pastor Mike reveals how to stay anchored in your faith by hearing God's voice and following His vision for your life. In this three-part CD series, Pastor Mike teaches the practical ways to hear God's voice. He reminds us that God is always speaking, but oftentimes we don't take the time or make the space in order to hear Him. When you call or go online right now and get the CD series anchored, you'll learn that hearing God means being persistent in spending time in His presence. When you do, God will prove Himself in the practical areas of your life. Each message will encourage you that God's vision for your life is greater than you can ever imagine. The vision God has given you is valuable, and no matter what storm or valley you are walking in, God will provide a way for it to come to pass. All you must do is step out in faith. Don't miss this special offer. Get anchored for your gift of any amount. Call 1-800-760-0141 or go to tbn.org slash anchored one. You can stay anchored. Get this powerful resource today. Call 1-800-760-0141 or go online right now. The strange voice of comparison. The strange voice of depression and anxiety and perversion. They've been speaking to you. And God's saying, hey, 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 hey. My sheep know my voice. And a stranger, they will not adhere. They won't listen. They will not submit to. And God's saying, I'm speaking. Somebody say, God speaks. God speaks. I want you to say it like you mean it. God speaks. God speaks. And now make it personal. God will speak, God will speak. To, me. to me. I'm declaring that over your life. If you've never, ever thought. Wow. So, well, my, my old denomination didn't believe that. Welcome, baby, to the full gospel of Jesus Christ. Somebody needs to know that God will speak to me. He'll give you direction about the business. He'll give you direction about, uh, let me stop. I'm, I think I just need to do it, Charles. Can I just tell him how God speaks? Um, the first thing I need to let you know that Malachi 3, 6 tells us um, the character of God. It, it shows that he's an anchor. It shows that he's reliable and dependable. And it says, for I am the Lord and I don't change. 
So the first thing you got to understand is that God is an anchor that does not change. Uh, uh, He is something that is going to be the same and he has been the same and he will be the same. So if God spoke in the Bible days and he said he don't change, he's still speaking today. So let me tell you 11 ways. I just got to flow through this. I'm going to have to maybe do an Instagram live or do something on this later because I really feel that people need to hear this, but God speaks. Somebody shout at me. God speaks. God speaks in an audible voice. Now this is getting more and more um, rare, but this is how God has spoken. And I do believe how God still speaks to some people in certain situations from Adam and Eve to Moses in the burning bush. The reason that God speaks in an audible voice is to get somebody's full attention. And this has never happened to me, but I'm not saying because it hasn't happened to me that it hasn't happened. And some of us are so prideful to think that because you've not experienced something, somehow that limits God. He's God if you believe or not. He's God. There's a word in the Bible and and it's a cuss word for some, but this is the thing that really gives God an unexplainable title. He's sovereign. He does what he wants when he wants to. And I know that's not sexy language in 2021 because we want everything to make sense and have a reason and be able to logically understand it. And God says, you can want all that, but I ain't got to do all that. (laughs) I'm sovereign. And I believe that God still speaks in an audible voice. That's why Hebrews 13, 8 says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So that's one way that God speaks. Let me give you a second way that God speaks through angelic visitations. Now, I know this is way above a lot of y'all's pay grade, but the way that Mary knew that she was pregnant with Jesus is an angel came to her. This is the thing that I really do believe that angelic hosts, what we talk about, we believe they can sing holy, holy, holy all around the throne, but we don't believe they can fight for us. But I look at, uh, there are different types of angels. There are ministering angels, there are guardian angels, and there are warring angels. And some of you have put your angels at bay because you don't believe that these things are real but God speaks through angelic visitation I can't even go number three he speaks through dreams and visions this is the one that we want all the time but this is not all how all the times how he comes but this is a way that he speaks he speaks through signs and miracles God will speak to somebody who does not believe he will speak to them that's what he says the miracles are for the unbelievers when somebody who was this way is standing there watching skeptical and God touches them and they get healed they be like hold on now tell me again how that happened God God said that the reason miracles have to come into 2021 is because the world is getting dimmer and dimmer and they can't believe. But when they see my light, when they see cancer dry up on the inside of somebody, when they see somebody who was addicted and couldn't function without pills and alcohol, I feel my help coming on. It is a miracle for the unbeliever and God speaks through signs and miracles. I believe that God speaks through coincidence. Um, I'm hype. God speaks through coincidences. I heard Albert Einstein say coincidences are God's way of remaining anonymous. It was a coincidence I ran into you at the, that was God. Oh, it's such a coincidence. I had a dream about this and then somebody started singing the song in office. That happened this week. Coincidence? Somebody said, that's God. Ah, He's speaking. When you thought it was, have you ever been somewhere and said, something told me? Stop dumbing down the something. The something has a name. His name is Jesus. uh, Okay, I I don't know why I feel so preachy today. I, whoa, it must be this lime green strip. I don't know which one. Like, okay. So God speaks through coincidence. He speaks through his written word. This is in the Greek called the Logos, the Bible. It is the main way. Listen to what I'm saying. This is the main way that God speaks to us. The problem is, is if you do not open up the Bible, you are void of the main way that God speaks to people. There has been time after time 
that I needed an answer for something that was happening in my everyday life. And I opened up my Bible for devotion, man, not wanting to read. Can, it, can I be honest with you? The pastor don't always want to read his Bible. I don't want to. Ah, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Yeah. But as I open up the living word, God starts reading me. See, because the Bible is the only book that you read it, but it reads you back. My attitude is off and God says, yeah, right there. That's where I'm going to get you. And this is where I want you to understand that in 2021, for you to be anchored, you cannot be anchored without the word of God. Your Instagram post scripture is not studying the word of God. I, nobody's going to say it. So I think I just have to say, yes, you posted it with lilies and flowers and it works with your aesthetic, but it did not go to your heart. It went on your page, but it missed your heart. And what God is saying to you right now is you got to hide yourself in my word because I'll speak to you. Somebody say God speaks. That's six ways. The other way he speaks is through the living word. Jesus says in John 6, 63, the words or the rhema, that's the right now word that I speak to you are spirit. That's there's something that's in them and they are life. See, this is the thing that you got to understand. I don't understand how people live without the Holy Spirit functioning in their life because that is the living word. Jesus literally says it's better disciples because they was tripping. If you if you if you let me go because if I go and do my father's business I'm gonna send you the Holy Spirit and when I send you the Holy Spirit he's gonna be your comforter he's gonna walk with you he's gonna talk with you and he's gonna lead you into all truth everybody say truth, truth. and the fact is that there's a lot of lies going on right now and we need truth and God's saying that when I give my word through the Holy Spirit it's a specific word for a specific time for a specific need and when you live like this, God speaks. Everybody say, God speaks. God speaks. This is the one y'all not gonna like. God speaks through other people. Yeah, that's good. Dang. See, because we wish we could judge the type of people that God allows us to speak through. But the person you don't like, God can speak through them. <laughs> the person who's been on your nerves at your job, the problem is some of your enemies have been speaking the most truth to you, but because you won't even listen and see, is there anything that God has to say in the midst of that? You have now shut off the answer to the very thing you've been praying for. Somebody shout at me. God speaks. I could go all day on all of this one on, on this one. God speaks through media. God literally will speak. The Bible talks about him declaring things to all nations. And how does things get to all nations right now? Through media, through social media, through television, through all of this stuff. God is using media right now to speak. Does life feel like a storm? Problems and situations surrounding you on every side? You don't have to be tossed around in the storm. You can stay anchored. In Pastor Mike Todd's new teaching series, Anchored, Pastor Mike reveals how to stay anchored in your faith by hearing God's voice and following His vision for your life. In this three-part CD series, Pastor Mike teaches the practical ways to hear God's voice. He reminds us that God is always speaking, but oftentimes we don't take the time or make the space in order to hear Him. When you call or go online right now and get the CD series Anchored, you'll learn that hearing God means being persistent in spending time in His presence. When you do, God will prove Himself in the practical areas of your life. Each message will encourage you that God's vision for your life is greater than you can ever imagine. The vision God has given you is valuable, and no matter what storm or valley you are walking in, God will provide a way for it to come to pass. All you must do is step out in faith. Don't miss this special offer. Get anchored for your gift of any amount. Call 1-800-760-0141 or go to tbn.org slash anchored one. You can stay anchored. Get this powerful resource today. Call 1-800-760-0141 or go online right now. No matter what anybody has told you, I'm telling you, this is the year you can learn to hear from God. God still speaks. Now, let me be honest with you. It takes a sacrifice. 
and it takes tuning in to the right voices. But God wants you to get anchored in his voice so you can get clear directions for your life. It's too easy to drift along in life, but when you are anchored to his word, not the voices of everybody else, but God's word, you can set a course to move forward in your assignment. And the assignment he has for you is big, it's great, and it's gonna be one of those that is progression and not perfection. I'm telling you, when you hear God's voice, it's gonna challenge you to do things that nobody's ever done before. And God is going to challenge you to push out the wrong voices and in tune in to the right voice, which is his voice. He still speaks. And this week, I believe with all my heart, he's gonna speak to you. Until next time, my friend, go out and know that you can live a transformed life. Thank you.